All right, we are live on DentonRadio.com as well as Facebook with the one, the only, Joshua Butler of the Thin Line Fest coming up very soon. Uh, I guess go ahead and introduce yourself and, and how you're involved with the fest and all that good stuff. Okay, uh, Joshua Butler. Yes, I think there is probably more than one of us uh, in Denton County, so <laughs> actually, so um, there's that. But uh, a few years ago, uh, we started this this festival, uh, Thin Line, and uh, and now in 2017, 10, 10 years. This is our 10-year wow. anniversary. Holy uh, smokes. I know. <laughs> I know. I, I, I wasn't exactly... Uh, sure we would get to 10 or or even two for that matter but uh but 10 10 does feel like a like i don't know feels like a big deal that's incredible well and it's such a a, a cool theme and cool name thin line um can you yeah. speak a little to that well after 10 years of of speaking to it and hearing <laughs> people speak about it uh i you know sometimes i question it because there's some it's hard to alliterate kind of, it kind of runs together, you know, thin line or people say red wine or <laughs> red line or blue line or so, uh, you know, that, that's, that's, that, that's kind of an issue, but, uh, thin line, it was, it started off as this idea of what, uh, what is a documentary mm-hmm. and, you know, it is a documentary a hundred percent real. Right. You know, um, or even, even the documentaries that you would think would be a hundred percent real, uh, you know, how much bias went into the sure. creation of that content. So, uh, that discussion of, is it real or not? And, and, and that, you know, this, that kind of saying there's that thin line. And so that's, that's, that's where the name came from. Cool. Yeah. So that line between entertaining and informing and all that, okay. man, there's, there, you could, you could go on and on and on, cool. you know, the line between this and that, uh, they can be things that are close together, uh, or things that are very, 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 very far apart. Right. Cool. Uh, like the, the classic love and hate or, uh, yeah, entertain or educate or, uh, I mean, there's, there's a number, you know, you, you can find this kind of concept. If you look hard enough, you can find, you know, a thin line between two right. things in almost any work of art. Right. Uh, so that's, uh, it ended up being a very kind of general concept that we could apply to many, many different things, which is kind of the fun of it. Very cool. Well, and I love that. In in, in true art, man, I feel like so much of, of our lives, we see things as black and white, this or that. And then mm-hmm. when true art speaks to us, we go, whoa, maybe I didn't really see it that way before. Now I'm starting to see a little more gray because there's such a thin line between this side and this side and all this. So it's just, it's an awesome fest with, with the documentaries, with the music, with the photography, with all this incredible works of art coming together. I think it's just been a, a, a great, great deal. Um, if you, for those, somebody watching or listening that's never been before or is, is hearing about Thin Line Fest for the first time, give them a, a, a 10 second pitch, if you could, on what mm. they can expect to see. Sure. Thin Line is a five-day film, music, and photography festival uh, here in downtown Denton. Uh, we screen only documentary films, uh, but we we are very loose with the definition of documentary. And so I, I think last year we had a, a zombie documentary, if you cool. can imagine that. Uh, and then I, I say the soundtrack for the festival is is the music component. And, Sweet. you know, we're in Denton. There's tons of great music all around us, some great local artists. Uh, and then the photography component is a is a more recent addition to the festival. But uh, last year we, we displayed over 100 images uh, at various galleries throughout downtown. So it just adds that that additional layer of uh, of of experience to to the event. Super cool. Super cool. Okay, so 10 years, and I feel like every year something new happens. You've got new right. elements. Things improve and grow and, and keep going. So what what's something new that people can expect this year? Uh, I think you're spot on with the, the new thing because one of my kind of guiding principles uh, through this experience over 10 years has been – always refining the concept and, and, and pursuing what works and kind of leaving behind what, what doesn't. And, uh, this year is no different. Uh, (laughs) In fact, that process started, um, probably even before the end of last year's festival or this, you know, earlier this year's festival. Uh, in fact, one of the biggest things to, to happen this year is the festival is going to be free. Uh, Wow. So general admission to all festival programming will be free completely free mm. uh the only caveat is they have to register 
consider it like going to a conference or a convention. You know, you have to register as an attendee, but as soon as you register and you get your, your badge, your wristband, not sure what we're doing at this point, uh, then you just walk right into the, to the venues until, cool. until capacity is full. Uh, and that came out of, uh, we did a, we did an event on Sunday of this past year's festival, uh, where we had a film about drumming, a UNT drum group, uh, Gamelon, I believe. And then, uh, we had a, a drum walk down Hickory street here, uh, all the way down to Dan Silverleaf that ended up in a concert with Jesse Fry, which was free. And it was like Sunday at 3 PM and the place was packed and it was just a, a, a great show for us. And, yeah. and that's, that was the initial spark. Like, man, we should make it all free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we Love started it. thinking like, what does that mean? What do we have to do to, to, to accomplish that? And, and, uh, to the credit of my entire board, uh, we really took a hard look at the budget and, and figured out what it was going to take both in, in reduction and increase in order to make that happen. So, uh, and we're there. So love it. Yeah. Super cool. Well, that's a, an incredibly new element. Denton benefits. Yeah. yeah the, <laughs> it's awesome. So uh, so that's a big new element yep. is that it's all going to be free. Um, there's another quite big new mm. element, and that's the change of date uh, that we weren't right. able to pull a lot of attention right. to. So when's the new launch? Yes, be? very important. Uh, we have moved down the calendar uh, out of the cold February months uh, and into the bright and sunny April, <laughs> right? <laughs> Rain does not happen in April, uh, but yes, we're moving to April. A April 19th through the 23rd are 2017 dates, so it's cool. a Wednesday through Sunday. It's actually the weekend before the Jazz Fest, awesome. so everyone can uh, can calm down. There won't be any overlap. Uh, it'll be just one one big party, right, from, uh, from Wednesday to the following Sunday here in Denton. Super, super cool. Got to love it. Nothing, nothing, that, that's very dentin to have a week and a half long party. And that's <laughs> totally. And, you know, the both events are free. I think, you know, I think it's, it's, it's interesting to see, you know, how this could all work out. It's going to be very cool. Very exciting to see. And so, okay, so let me ask this. What's some of the I don't know, craziest stuff, some of the most memorable moments over this last 10 years? Oh, man. Uh, I don't know. Uh it's 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 all been great and you know to to the point of it being a new experience every time we don't really know what to expect and so uh that uh it, it's 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 memorable i i really you put me on the spot and i'm not gonna come up with any like <laughs> historical <laughs> no. pieces well it's uh, kind of like asking what your, who's your favorite kid or something like what's your favorite true. moment of yeah. all this time but well the years even run together you know like uh, what year was that what 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 year had this movie or that movie um, but having zombies on the square last year was kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think those times when we create an experience beyond the, you know, what happens on screen or what happens in a photo of, uh, or on stage, if we create an experience beyond that, uh, then I think that's what really creates those memorable experiences for our attendees. Perfect. Uh, but I did remember one other thing that, uh, is, is new this year. Sweet. Uh, and, and that's, uh, we've got some, some really big, uh, awards that uh, awesome. are, are new this year, a really big cash award that I can't tell you too much about, but uh, there, you know, check the Facebook, check the website in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we will be announcing this big cash award uh, for, for submissions and submissions this year are still open through January 15th. So if you have a documentary, actually you could go shoot a documentary between now and January 15th submit and then be in the festival in, in April. Super that cool. would be a totally realistic experience for <laughs> anyone out there with a camera or a, an iPhone, right? I mean, it's so easy to, to make content these yeah. days. Uh, so, uh, and I would encourage you to do that. Take a photo. I mean, we're taking photos through right. January 15th. Like my God, who can't take a photo? Yeah. Go, take a photo, submit your photo and, and be a part of the thin line experience as an artist this year and Super potentially cool. win a bunch of money. Love it. Well, that's a, that's all that needs to be said right there. That's exactly. <laughs> yeah, submit, submit your content, get some money, come to the festival for free. Perfect. All right, well, this has been Joshua Butler talking about the Thin Line Fest. Uh, it's going to be again on? April 19th through the 23rd. 19th through the 23rd. 2017. If you want to find more information, you can go to? 
Uh, thinline.us is the website. Uh, however, it's my fault. I'll take full credit for that website not being fully <laughs> updated at the moment. <laughs> so, but I, you know, in the next few days, we should have it there. But uh, the Facebook tends to be pretty updated. Facebook. But I'm building a bad A new website, and everyone <laughs> should come check it out in like four or five days. Sounds great. Right. Gotta love it. Well, thank you so much cool. for coming Thanks, by. Jake. I really, really appreciate it. We're going to jump back into the music. This is a little bit of Tomcat with their song Big Love. You heard it here first on DentonRadio.com.